This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. And just a little preview here, I've added a high camera. Uh, I think that's going to show things a lot better. You'll be able to see the retrieve speed, but the action of the plug and the hits and where the plug lands. And there we go. All right, we're going to get to all of that. And I'd appreciate some uh, feedback in the comments as to whether you like that camera or, you know, prefer it up front instead. Oh, and my day started without the alarm clock going off like it was supposed to, and that just knocked me off balance because it set me behind on the time. I, I, this is my first cast here. I would like to have made that first cast earlier, but I rolled over and it was later than it was supposed to be. And no, it wasn't the AM, PM. People have said it's AM, PM, but it wasn't the problem. Anyway, um, I'm getting a late start. And uh, you'll be able to hear that I'm a little bit winded because I've been pedaling so hard and um, I had really high expectations for this trip. And uh, here comes cast number two. All right, and it is 43 degrees out into southwest Florida. That is cold. Um, but the thought is that the fish will have been pushed up into the canals off the flats uh, to try to get into some areas that are warmer because those flats that are like two, three feet deep at most, uh, that little water temperature drops in a hurry. Um, so hopefully um, I have found where they are. Okay, it's looking like I made the right call. <laughs> I wish I was here 25 minutes early, but oh well. Okay, so this is just a few casts later. Okay, to look at that from the high view, that plug actually hit the mangroves on the way down. That's how close to the shore it is. It drew right there, just take the mangroves. All right, and we'll go back to that camera uh, when it makes sense to do so, especially to get the retrieve and the plug action on it. All right, this first cast here, and this probably happens, I don't know, once every two trips, um, when the bail engages, I'm gonna have uh, a little issue with the line. And of course, you know, there's a fish there. Come on. I'm going to try using the Boga this time. It's actually a Berkeley lip grip. Um, it, it actually works quite well. I should have used the net. That leader is right, uh, right in the sharp areas, and uh, and he cut it. You know, I, I should have gone with the net. Um, all right, live and learn. And yeah, I use 40 pound leader material, but uh, the gills and stuff, they got sharp stuff up there up front, and and they can just cut that and. Uh, a friend of mine uses 50, gets that cut once in a while, but yeah, I'm sticking with 40. Um, yeah, had I netted that fish, I would have been fine. Okay, and listen to the sound of this cast. 
Okay, I'm sure many re recognize the sound of a big me. knot. There it is, going through the guides. Okay, I've got like three other outfits behind me. This one's going to get racked. I've got one with a lure and a tactical angler's clip. Going to put that plug on there, and you know what? I'm going to make a drift and not catch anything on that cat on that drift with the tactical angler's clip. I love those clips. Um, I, you know, I just didn't get anything, so I'm back to a loop knot here. And if anyone more experienced with this kind of fishing is doing well with a tactical angler's clip uh, for this kind of fishing, I'd like to know about that. I looked away. <sighs> I'm assuming Jack, because I'm I was so far off the shore. And plus he hasn't jumped. All right, let's take a look from the high camera, uh, especially with this nice glassy water, uh, so you can see the action on the plug and the retrieve. Look at the left hand, my left hand. Uh, you'll be able to get that retrieve speed. And you can see that plug going back and forth. And boy, look, there's a fish right behind it. But yeah, nice, uh, nice look at the swimming action on the plug. He didn't take it. Uh, and I'm going to say more about this, but for snook, these casts have got to be right on the edge, just like that, and a uh, good view of it there. Uh, this is the way the morning's going, you know, just uh, another missed fish. Oh, my God. Oh, I just saw a serious fish move. Now I have to execute that cast.
it's a big fish. And I've got, this is the way the mooring's going. I got, I've got the other hook of the plug caught on the net. Sometimes you screw everything up and you still do okay. Oh, this thing's got some weight to it. I'll tell you what, that makes the morning, this one fish. And uh, despite my best efforts, I managed to, to land it. Um, yeah, that's a beauty. Oh, boy. Big one. You're going right for the mangroves. Wow. Try to hold them out. Oh, that's a big boy. Hey, uh, nice fish, but it fooled me. Uh, the weight went for the mangroves like that. I, I thought that was a snook, but uh, yeah, I'll take that. They're fun. Bad fish. Nice. All right, let's get some high view in there where I've got a decent angle. Um, yeah, the audio on the high view isn't any good. I need to fix that somehow. Uh, it's real clunky. All right, yeah, you can see left hand. There's that retrieve. Um, but, you know, more importantly, good look at the plug there. You know, something about this casting where you need that accuracy, trying to get in really, really close to the shore. Um, you know, once that plug has left the rod on a cast, you can't make it go farther, but you can make it go shorter. So basically, I try to overthrow just a little bit and then feather it and, and try to drop it where I want it. Okay, uh, see if we can watch where this next one lands. Shit. And you heard my reaction there. Uh, you know what? If you fall eight feet or so off the shore, you, you might as well just not waste your time retrieving. You need to be closer, like that. That's a snook. And most of the time, the, the hits do come a little farther out. I guess they follow it, or you know, you're not actually landing right on them. Maybe they're 10 feet away. It takes them a little time to come out to it. But it just seems like if you don't put that plug in real tight, you just don't get the hits.
All right, going to go with the uh, lip grip this time. Uh, I've owned this thing a long time and uh, with minimal care, and it's held up well. All right, the high view of bad versus good cast. Just no good. You know, you could see there, that thing might have been 10 feet off the shore. Uh, yeah, and you know what? Hey, cranking it in fast like this, it doesn't mean I don't get a jack, but it was probably very unlikely I was going to get a snook, so... I don't want to lose ground. I'm drifting. Um, just get it, burn it back, throw it in where it belongs. Yeah, one of the most challenging parts of this fishing is making those accurate casts, and you're going to see that here. Um, you know what? You've you got to be in position. So if I have to reposition the kayak to make a good cast, I'm going to do it. Oh, come on, man. i got a fish in there. And I just can't get a, gotta make a good cast. I got the wind, I got the current. Nope. Oh, good cast. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. That's the way it works. That is the way it works. <sighs> Big snook. Ah, oh, I came done, done. Oh. All right, well, at least I executed. Whew. You can see waves from that fish coming at the kayak. That was uh, of the class of the bigger one that I landed. So, oh well, um, you know, I've been hanging on to those bigger ones. Can't hang on to all of them. Okay, and this will be the very next cast. Not as big as the one before, but... I think the sun is warming that shoreline. All right, let me know what you think of the high camera, and if you like this video, please hit the like button, and if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Oh, nice. All right.